the London Football Awards, although you didn't win the award, how nice was it to be part of the event? Well, I knew I didn't win the award because you'd already told me that I didn't win it before I even went. So um, it's not nice. Well, it's not not nice when you're going to go to an awards evening. You know you're not going to win. But um, I honestly thought David Moyes would win it. Fantastic job at, at West Ham. Got him high in the league and to win the first trophy, a European trophy in a, in a number of years, um, was a fantastic achievement. Um, I put a tweet out last night, jokingly, and you get the old nonsense coming back at you about, oh, wait, I'm just joking. It was a little bit of banter. Um, I think Angie's an unbelievable manager. Love the way that he plays. Some Someone that young coaches like myself can aspire to be in the way that his, his teams play, aggressive, good to watch. I just didn't think he'd been in England long enough to win it. So I can't believe that Thomas Frank wasn't even in the nominees to keep, to keep doing it at Brentford. So it was a good night. Um, but you know, when, when you've got training the next day as well, you have to be professional. So um, I had a shandy and then stayed on the waters. And if we go back a little bit earlier this week, went another win on Tuesday. What are your reflections on the performance a few days on? Yeah, I thought it was a really good performance. Um, I know I referenced it to you guys after the game. But when you're working with young players, a lot of young players nowadays, the way the academy system has gone, have one way of playing. And that's it. And when you look at the young players that we've got, the fact that they can go away to Oxford and I'll use Ollie, Ollie O'Neill as an example. He can play in pockets. He knows when to stay wide when our full backs go in. He knows when our full backs are overlapping to, to come in pockets. He knows when to play as a second striker. And he understands all that because he's got an academy background and he's clever and tactically he's really, really good. And you expect that from players when you take them from these academies. What you don't expect is the physicality, the duels, the leaning in the contact, and that's what's really pleasing with these young, young players. We've still got players that are playing in League One for the first time in their careers, O'Neill, Ford, Tatiru, um, El Mazzuni, Brown, um, Galbraith. So a lot of these players are playing at the level for the first time, and they are, and they're, they're, they're doing really, really well. And I'm proud of them because they take on a lot of information, and they're just going out there and, and doing it. So brilliant, brilliant win again, not pretty on the eye at times but we needed to find a way we, Blackpool were really really good out of possession and they're in a little bit good run of form beating Peterborough beating Bolton so we need to respect them and if we would have overplayed then they would have, we would have caught us so we, I think we got the balance right How are we looking team news wise after that because it was a, a physical game as you say Yeah this, Tom James has got a slightly tight quad um, other than that we obviously Matt's got a few more minutes so he will be up to speed um, we have to take Monks off at half time with a sore chest He's trained today, so we believe they will be OK. Bristol Rovers to come on Saturday. They didn't play on Tuesday. What kind of a challenge are they going to pose us? Yeah, a bit of a mixed bag, bag since uh, Matt's gone in there. Um, I think he's striving to to find the right, right way of playing. Um, whenever I played against his teams at Exit, he was always aggressive. Um, and they've not been quite like that at Bristol, so maybe we'll see something different. But um, no, he's a... Excellent manager that was successful at Exeter and then got his move to, to Rotherham. Rotherham in a championship is a really tough job for anybody. Um, so I think he's found a good club in Bristol now that he, he'll start to sink his teeth in it. And over the coming month, and especially January, he'll start to, sorry, especially the summer, um, you'll start to see improving signs with him. But club that has obviously built a lot of foundations of Joey Bart in the last few years, well budgeted team, and um, he's got, got some talented players. We close the gap on the top six by one more point on Tuesday just how exciting a time is it to be here at the moment I honestly don't think of it like that I don't come off and think how far off of the top six I just think of where we've come from how the players are developing and, we, and we've and we done it differently to some team this year we've had to go young we've had to develop players so we lost two players we lost three players last year Charlie Kelman went back to the championship Paul Smith went to the championship and Lawrence Vigo went to the Premier League so we develop players and then we lose them and we have to build a new team and we signed Dan Aggie and we signed Jordan Gray and we signed Max Sanders and they, Jordan Gray was excellent and then we lose him, Dan Aggie comes in and we're constantly having to create new teams so the, the, the thing for me is consistency in team selection, consistency in, in performance and if we get all of them things right then then we're capable of winning a lot of a lot of the games that are remaining so we just, I know it's an old cliche we just keep one game at a time because you never know who's going to be fit and what's going to happen teams at the moment like Bristol played three at the back, four two three one, four three three. So there's so many varieties at the moment. We just need to concentrate on ourselves. 
Although this year you mentioned the injuries to Jordan and Dan, I'm sure that's frustrating, but in some ways do you, do you enjoy that challenge as well of having to rebuild and bounce back from setbacks? Um, I don't. I wouldn't say enjoy it. And he's learning to cope with it. And I think when you're young managers, you can not use it as an excuse because they are valid reasons. But I think as you get more experience, you you have to deal with it. So you find better ways of, of doing it. And you're not, it's not languishing in the back of your mind for a week, two weeks, three weeks. You, you dust, as soon as someone gets injured, you dust under the carpet and go, OK, how can we get better? How can we cope with the next opposition? And how can we deal with the injuries that come your way? So I wouldn't say it's enjoyable because enjoyable is having a fully fit squad and, and having to leave really, really good players out of the squad. But I think over time you learn to deal with that. And um, I think what the exciting bit about it is that they actually give a lot of young players um, an opportunity to come and play and shine. And, um, and I think that's what we're doing at the moment. And a lot of them young players are taking the chances and, and being really, really good. And just lastly, a message for the fans. They really got behind us, as they always do on Tuesday. Just a message for those who are, who are going to be there on Saturday. Yeah, we, we again, I, I spoke to him after we needed him. I think the second game was Burton um, and it was a tough game. So I said, we need you again. The, the games are coming and these are opportunities that if, if we can keep on in support of the players, make the atmosphere good, make it difficult for the opposition, then we have 11 games that you know could potentially change our players' lives. It's a huge, huge carrot at the end of it. Um, but also change the club's fortunes if we can get into the championship or be anywhere near the conversations come three, four games remaining. Then um, I think the the um, the club will improve. It will get better sponsors. It will get, and it just you know from the outside it looks like we're doing well, and we are. But the biggest part of that is the supporters. And, and when young players go onto the pitch and supporters are, are chanting a name, it, it it makes you feel. You know, a foot tall and so keep it up because um last few home games have been fantastic.